Welcome back to Just Guitar Talk. My name is Brandon. Welcome back to the show. Got another video about the Quilter Aviator Cub 50. I'm digging this amp. I really, really like it. I've had it for a while now, and every day that goes by, I'm finding something else that I like about it. It's taken my pedal board extremely well, and thank you for everybody who watched my initial video about this thing. And as promised, I wanted to make a video about blending the different inputs together. Uh, as you may know, uh, for this amp, it comes with a tweed input, a blonde input, and a black bass input. So you get the sound of those different types of amps. So they're all good on their own. They all have their own different flavor, but you can purchase a Y cable so that you can use to blend the channels together. So this is what I got. This looks like this. You can get them for like 10 bucks on Amazon or whatever. And so you can use this to combine the different channels together. So I'm gonna be using my Gibson Les Paul with the Lindy Fralin pickups in here and also my all-in-one strap to kind of demo all these. I'm gonna move a little bit quickly just because, you know, with three inputs, you can really go like, this is with this, and this is with this, this mixed with this, blah, blah, blah. So I'll just kind of go through them, you know, a, a little quick, just so you can get an idea of what they sound like blended together. So in my last video, you heard the channels on their own. So now we're gonna start off with the tweed and the blonde channel mixed together. So that's what I played on the intro, so here it is. So with the tweed and the blonde together, I'm hearing some really nice low end and some nice high end mixed together. Not much mids there. I should note that all the EQs are at noon with just a little bit of reverb dialed in here. So I like to keep the EQs pretty flat on my amp. Uh, that way I can use my pedals and also the tone and volume on my guitars to kind of tweak the EQ as need be. I find if I kind of dial in the EQ on the amp and leave it there, it can really change from guitar to guitar. So these, these EQs are pretty much it. You know. We got the blonde with the black face. So I should say, I really like the blonde and blackface mixed together They because the blonde is so bright and uh, the blackface is really kind of dark, but they're both very smooth. So it really balances out the high end and the low end for me. And it makes it an even better, cleaner pedal platform. So I was using this a lot when I first uh, started. This was my primary. This is my primary thing that I blended together. All right. Now let's go with the black face and tweed.
right, so this is the black bass in the tween. <laughs> enjoy this one. <laughs> so this is actually my favorite blend of channels because the tweed has got the edge and the punch and the nice low end glassiness and then the black face also has that glassiness and a nice smooth low end too so it just really keeps that smooth tone that's got a nice low end but it's also got that punchy glassiness with of the tweed that I really really like snappy too and it sounds great with the strat as well so i'm going to take this opportunity to switch over to the strat so we can hear what that sounds like make sure it's in tune always a good idea okay so let's start off like we did before with the tweed and the blonde channels mixed together. Tweed and the blonde. Now let's go to Tweed and Blackface. Let's go. <laughs> favorite blend of channels. Oh, sounds so good. Sounds so good. Uh, and I'm going to show you in another video when I use this channel with pedals. It just sounds awesome. It's a great clean tone, especially for a Strat. <laughs> Let's hear the blonde. 
and the blackface together. That's the blonde and the black face together. So it's got that really nice smoothness in the high end from the blonde channel and then the nice low end and the smoothness as well from the black face. So that's really cool. I, you know, I can, again, this was my favorite blend at first, but then I went to tweed and blackface. So let's go back to tweed and blackface because I have so much fun on that one. <laughs> you get from the tweed channel and the nice low end and the smooth from the black bass is just so stratty. <laughs> some humbuckers just so you can see what's up. This is my Washburn WI64 with Seymour Duncan Pearly Gates pickups. And again we're on the tweed and blackface. <laughs> are high output humbuckers or like high output uh, PAF so very punchy. <laughs> Uh, hopefully you got to hear some differences in the sounds 
uh, it's always tough to tell what you can hear through YouTube, you know, especially when it comes to like slight differences and slight nuances and, and you know of course it's, it's difficult with feel as well but hopefully you were able to hear the differences and hopefully you could hear what I'm hearing and for me again I really like the blend of the tweed and the black bass. <laughs> Sounds good. Again, I have nothing but amazing things to say about this amplifier, and this is low volume right now too. It's super low volume. I haven't gotten very loud with it yet just because I can't. I'm an apartment dweller, as it were. And yeah, this thing is super loud, and it's got nice headroom. For being such a small amp, it doesn't sound that boxy to me. It sounds pretty open and airy. Uh, so I haven't had that complaint, but again, if you do buy this amp, spend the 10 bucks, get a Y cable and blend channels. For me, that's where the magic is on this thing. So check it out. I think you will really like it. So thank you again for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. If you want to like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Uh, I have a lot of fun making these videos and I can't wait to make more. And I'm going to make another video to show how amazingly well this amp takes pedals. Uh, 650, 675 bucks, depending on where you get it from. So this amp is a steal, not a paid sponsorship at all, but really digging this amp. So thank you again for watching. Have a great week.